What's going on YouTube? Geosyn right here. So in today's video we have an update for the Kawabunga Lite which allows you to customize your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch with themes and tweaks and stuff like that without a jailbreak and this works with the newest iPhones as well all the way up to iOS 16.5. This video is brought to you by any unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So just a couple of hours ago we've got an update for Kawabunga Lite. The version 1.1 was released and it was posted in here available on github and it looks like the changes are as follows they added control center layout customization and presets on the explore page and to submit your layout send a screenshot of the control center page in the settings app on your phone added new internal option section to enable debug toggle and moved some springboard options in there and added enabling the shutdown sound from iphone 14 on unsupported devices but then of course they also added some minor bug fixes so i would definitely advise you to go ahead and update your kawabanga light it looks like this when you open it and it's basically a theming and tweaking platform for non-jailbroken devices. So if your device is running iOS 14.0, 15.0, iOS 16, 16.5 and anything in between, you can go ahead and use Kawabunga and you can get themes like these in here and install them on your device without being jailbroken. And the themes persist, they don't actually require you to be jailbroken. If you reboot your phone the theme will continue to exist in there. And then we have in here the new CC presets and as you can see it looks like this. So you can organize your control center in different ways and stuff like that so for the moment these are the available ones and yeah they look pretty interesting and here are the themes then you have of course status bar icon theming and stuff like that once you enable them you can customize your device further and then to apply the tweaks you go here to apply and press apply here I have a full tutorial on how to use this so definitely check it out in the link below but be sure to not confuse this with the Mac Dirty Cow version of Kawabanga there's also the Mac Dirty Cow version which this one actually allows you to do even more it's actually quite powerful but this one supports only iOS 14.0 up to 16.1.2. Kawabanga Lite supports everything iOS 16.5 and lower so basically the latest version is supported and on all devices but it has fewer functions and it has fewer tweaks. However if you're running 16.1.2 or lower it's much better to use the Kawabanga not the Kawabanga Lite because this one has much more features you can customize the lock screen, the passcode screen and notification colors and stuff like that. It's much more powerful because this one uses an exploit, while this one uses a very clever backup trick. But even so, it still has many, many features available over here, including those currently available on your screen. So definitely check it out in the link below and definitely grab the update. That's basically it. Check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I'm GSNow. Till the next time, peace out.